You think you got higher among the bunch, but you actually getting fire within the bunches. Welcome back to my channel, guys. This is Hire a Bunch of Fine on Bunches, and my name is Rob, and we're here back to the business to help you guys with your new job application, job interview, and job offer questions. So today's episode, uh, we're going to talk about some hard interview and what is going on in these hard interview questions and tough interview questions i have been uh, studying and researching on in the past few months and it's actually based on some statistic and data right that i use gpt you know go back to my uh, previous episode on how to use gpt for job interview tips <laughs> anyway um so in the previous episode, uh, we actually had some, uh, a few, actually, few other episodes talking about uh, tough interview questions. And uh, for this one specifically, I do posted one for uh, Zuckerberg versus uh, Joe Rogan, um, who has brought up some, you know, really interesting question and hard interview question to Zuckerberg for him to answer. So make sure you check this uh, vivid and in live real time uh, example for how to do that but for today's uh episode i did have find some really good resources on what are these tough interview questions why these questions being answered and asked and why the employers wanted to know the answer from you guys to these questions so let's get started and hey before you getting started um make sure you guys check my link below you know if you uh i really hope you guys you know support me just uh buy some coffee for me through this buy me coffee link if you really like i'll appreciate greatly appreciate it. in the meantime check my other social media like ig and uh instagram of course and twitter for sure and also i got some other good goody goody goodies in my link tree link below so check those as well and Without any do, uh, let's do that. So I found this Inside Global blogs. Uh, this guy Patrick Blind was talking about what are these uh, tough inner questions and the types. So he basically had seven different types, right? And uh, we have three of them. Uh, these are behavioral questions, situational questions, and of course, uh, motivational questions, right? These are probably be three of the most common ones, and of course, three of the most toughest one during the interview so let's go to the first one behavioral question so i i can see that so okay the first one behavioral question uh according to insight global these questions are looking for how candidates have handled real life situation in the past and focusing on their reactions actions and of course outcomes um that they can use to predict the future behavior of this um candidate right that's behavioral question and the next one is situational interview questions this type assesses how the uh candidates might handle hypothetical or um you know case by case situations relevant to the job of course and this question also tests the candidate's problem solving uh and also critical thinking skills now the last one but not the the ultimate one is the motivational question um this question focuses on understanding a candidate's underlying motivations for applying for the current job and also previous job how how that worked out and how their goals align with the hiring team so they, they wanted to see how your passion where your target line on and if they are matched with the uh with the current company some sounds fair right of course so um so in the meantime you know we're, we're down with the resource here but in the meantime you know if you guys are interested in more details you guys can go back to my previous uh playlist that i have created my project interview 100 interview questions and answer and i did have specifically address how these questions are and what the uh, answer or the simple structure is and how we can beat this question in a strategic way, right? But uh, without any dues, well, I do have three other alternative questions that I have for these tough questions in hard interview and let's get on it. First of all is the um, situational question, right? 
Okay, yeah, describe situation where you blah, 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 make a decision without the necessary conditions or uh, or uh, resource, right? And the answer is very typical structure. Uh, give it an example first. In my previous role, I did this. Uh, it's a very tough situation, but my team and I or the team that I lead opted out for a phased project launch in a smaller market to mitigate risk. Very good. And the outcome is I lead to a successful broader launch and demonstrating the, the effectiveness and of course the quick decision making under uncertainty. All right. And the second question will be um, behavioral questions. And the sample is tell us about a time, right? <laughs> very common starting, very common starting. The challenger directive or decision made by the management. Of course, they, these employers always wanted to create chaos between you and the potential manager. And how did you handle the situation? Blah, blah, blah. And the simple answer is this. Faced with a management decision that is not really ethically and uh, correct and ethically wrong, slash, I prepare for a presentation highlighting what is going on and what is wrong and propose a solution. Tips right here. You always create a solution before you start questioning anyone in public. Okay. After discussion, oh, I'm sorry. After discussion with the senior manager, the things going out and everybody revised their strategy and we leave happy ending. So that's how you do these questions. Number three is a motivational question. Imagine you are leading a team, a project that is significantly behind the schedule. Always these questions. Make sure you prepare. And upper management demands the results. So nobody, nobody wants to wait but you. And how are you going to do it? So the answer is this. Okay, uh, taking over delayed project, I reassessed the priority so you you did a reorganization with everything step by step sometimes you even need to do the overtime but that's fine talk about this to the interviewees let them know i'm sorry interviewers let them know you did extra efforts out of your um, priority out of your duty and then you solve the problem so regular updates and stakeholder in okay that's where they use the uh limited resource but at the end of the day the we have minimum delays within budget and showcasing the fact project alignment and okay that's great so did you get that all right hope you guys got that if you're not middle of company no i'll check your questions and i'll make some other free videos as a free giveaway for my next few uh, episode and before you leave out hey like subscribe and share and uh make sure you guys check my other episode and i'll see you when i see you for the next episode Peace out.